Hi guys, welcome to another range test video. This is the Skoda Enyaq IV80, to be precise, the Sportline model. In this video, I want to find out the range in real life driving conditions. I will test the range on the highway to find out the minimum range. Then I will also do a second range test in the city at lower average speeds to know the maximum range. I also wanted to know how long it takes to charge the battery at a public charger. The Skoda Enyaq IV80 is a full electric car with a WLTP range of 521 kilometers or 537 kilometers depending on the website you look at. It is a lithium battery with a net capacity of 77 kilowatt hours. It is rear wheel drive and has a power of 204 horsepower. I will first test the range on the highway. There is a little bit of sporty driving on country roads in this test. The goal of this part of the test is to find out the minimum range of this car by testing it at higher average speeds. At the beginning of this part of the test the battery is at 86%. I did the test in June and it was between 17 and 20.5 degrees during this part of the test. It was also raining a bit that day. The first part of the test is a drive of 112 kilometers purely on the highway driving at 120 kilometers per hour. This was a drive from Brussels to the Ardennes with an elevation difference of about 200 meters. The battery is down to 56% and average consumption is 20.6 kilowatt hours. I will base my estimated range on the consumption and the net capacity of the battery. The total range based on this consumption is 374 kilometers. I will now leave the highway for some sporty driving on country roads. After this part of 36 kilometers, the total average consumption is 20.4 kilowatt hours. The range increased now to 377 kilometers. Now we will drive all the way back by using the highway. Let's have a look at the final result. The battery is down to 17% and the total length of the drive was 266 kilometers. Average consumption was 19.3, so the total range on the highway is 399 kilometers. So this was a high intensity test. Are you curious about a more mixed consumption? Well, I emptied the battery from 100% to 16% where I drove in total 326 kilometers consisting of 60 kilometers of city driving and then the 230 kilometers of highway driving and 36 kilometers of country roads from the high intensity test. Average consumption ended up to be 19.1 kilowatt hours. So the total range that I got based off this consumption is 403 kilometers in a more mixed scenario but to be fair the highway takes a large share of the total kilometers so we are not finished yet with the highway test i thought because i was driving from the center of the country which was about 13 meters above sea level to the ardennes which was about 200 meters above sea level that the elevation difference may generate higher consumption on the highway so i redid the test where i did a drive on the highway from Brussels to Ostend which is at the seaside. The temperature during this drive was between 14 and 17.5 degrees and it was also raining that day. So long story short I did a drive of 258 kilometers from 100% to 34% on the highway and my average consumption ended up to be 18.9 kilowatt hours giving me a range of 407 kilometers on the highway driving it at sea level without big differences in elevation. Later in this video I will test the range at lower average speeds but let's first recharge the car. The Skoda Enyaq IV80 is equipped with CCS combined charging system. This system enables the Skoda Enyaq to be charged with both AC and DC. For this test I will charge the car at an AC charger. The Enyaq has an onboard charger of 11 kW. When I started the charging session the battery was down to 16% and the car indicated that it would take 5 hours and 15 minutes to fully charge the battery. I didn't do a DC charging test with this Sportline model, however I did a DC charging test with the regular Skoda Enyaq IV80 which is the same in terms of charging. The Skoda Enyaq IV80 can fast charge at speeds of up to 125 kilowatt. This Enyaq IV80 can be recharged from 5 to 80 percent in 38 minutes. I did a quick charging test at a 50 kilowatt 
DC charger, I charge for 32 minutes from 35% to 65% or from 156 kilometers to 278 kilometers. So I gained 122 kilometers of range. I know 50 kilowatt is not a very fast charger, but on that route, this was the fastest charger that I could find. Let's now test the range at lower average speeds in the city. I want to find out what the maximum range of this car could be. Let's have a look at my results. The weather during this part of the test was much better. It was sunny and temperatures were between 20.5 and 23.5 degrees. The first part was around 17 kilometers of driving in Brussels. The rest of the drive was driving in Flanders around Brussels, still in an urban area but with lots of opportunity for continuous driving. I emptied the battery from 100% to 73% over a drive of 150 kilometers. After 50 kilometers, my consumption was only 12.8 kilowatt hours, which resulted in an estimated range of 602 kilometers. Over the course of the drive, the consumption increased a bit, but my final consumption ended up to be 14.3 kilowatt hours. So the range in the city is 538 kilometers. In conclusion, I can say that the range of the Skoda Enyaq IV80 lies somewhere between 399 km and 538 km based on similar driving conditions and measured at rather warmer temperatures between 14 and 23.5 degrees. With much colder temperatures, it will probably be less. In even hotter temperatures, you will probably get more range. All in all, I think this car performed very well in the range test. I hope I was able to answer some questions you might have about this car. If you want to know more about the real world range of electric cars, there are more videos on my channel and more to come in the future. Subscribe if you want to be notified about these future videos. <music>